Xin chào, hello, welcome to the Crooked Truth. My name is Melo and I am your judge here in this court. I may be hard sometimes, but trust me, the truth is what I will tell you over here without any fear and without any filters. I always give a disclaimer that no matter who you are, be careful your case does not enter this court. If not, I'm going to treat you the way I would treat any other person. So just be careful. Before we go into today's case, I urge everyone to remain silent before this court. Order in court. For the past two to three days, Ghanaians are really experiencing bad internet, bad network, that communicating online has been so difficult, doing research online has been so difficult. But there is another thing which has also been trending alongside these whole issues, which is Bongo Ideas. Now, if you do not know Bongo Ideas, I've put some of his you know videos here on my youtube channel but i'll still remind you he is a socialite he is a social critic and a social commenter he doesn't care about anyone's feeling if he knows he's saying the truth sometimes he goes below the belt but that doesn't mean that what he does is a wrong thing for me i see a 90 percent credibility in what he does but a 10 percent sometimes he goes below the belt so you will give him the credits and uh, not take anything away from him now an issue came up when he made a comment about the Ghanaian president Nanado Dankwe Kufuado the wife and Rebecca and the five children now immediately after that post that he made there was a communique that a group of people have picked Bungo ideas up Yes, some people were saying it's the police, the security service. Others are saying, you know, he was just picked up by some people just to torture him and so on. So one guy by name Zion Felix made an interview and he said the one he is talking to is Bungo Ideas' niece. The girl confirmed. And according to her, he was picked at 2 a.m. dawn. And these people were wearing police uniform with some pickup and a 4x4 car. Now, information or what the Ghana police also brought out is that they do not have a hand in what has happened. And this seems so crazy. You know, everybody seems confused. Some Ghanaians are very happy on the internet. According to them, Bongo Ideas has been causing pain and what he does is not right and so on. So they are very, very happy that the police has picked him up now i have a whole lot of things to say but i've gotten some audio too uh one is an interview bongo ideas made before he was arrested and the other one is what someone has also said he said they've seen bongo ideas but he was tortured and he hasn't spoken so well she said Bongo Ideas was not beaten, but he was tortured, which I do not understand. Now, let's listen to that audio. In Ghana, police are saying the number of the day. Now, we don't know who came for him. I guess I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. He's not able to speak well. Now, guys, let's look at the meaning of torture. Then, after that, I will continue to what Bongo Ideas said in a certain video before he was captured or he was kidnapped or he was picked up. The action or practice of inflicting severe pain or suffering on someone as a punishment or in order to force them to do or say something the torture of political prisoners now verb inflict severe pain or suffering on most of the victims had been brutally tortured this is it this guy is saying he wasn't beaten but how would you know if he was beaten torture in a way they inflict pain on you what if he was beaten but you are not seeing bruises 
You understand? So, beatings is a form of torture. Yes, they can use some things to, you know, shake you, electrical things to shake you or something. But still, definitely, if electrical things were not used, it means he was in a way beaten and caused pain too. I don't know why she's so confident that he wasn't beaten. Maybe because she's not seeing any bruises. Now, let's take it like that, that he was tortured. But beatings was not part of the kind of torture they gave him. Bongo Ideas is not speaking so well to her. He hasn't given much information. But for me, I would wait until Bongo Ideas comes out to speak and say something. Maybe he being a smart guy, he observes some things which will really show that truly these people were policemen or not. He can maybe observe something. Because the police are saying that they do not have a hand in it, which is so confusing. Very, very, very confusing that people do not understand. For me, it may be that even if it's the police who picked him up to torture him, they wouldn't come out to say maybe it was an order from above as usual. Maybe, who knows, maybe some group of people were also ordered to go pick him up and torture him. Who knows? Who knows? Like I said, let's wait until Bongo Ideas comes out to say something. Then we can know from his own perspective if truly it's the police who picked him up or it was a group of people who picked him up. Let's wait and see. Now, Bongo Ideas said this in an interview, which I think it's a good thing that we all have to know and learn from. Let's listen to what he said. In how you carry yourself on social media. Oh, like, as you, don't you, oh, uh, when you say, yeah, one day someone might just meet you, know, the baby are born over Johnny. Yeah, I used to. I used to think about personal harm based on the trade that I receive from people. Mm -hmm. But right now, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have that, that, that fear anymore. Why? I think it is growth. When you grow, okay. you, when you grow, you, you, you become formidable and you start to believe in what you do. So stuff like that do not shake you anymore. Do you don't think that yeah, we, one day when I maybe I'll be the boat? I don't think about that. Why? Because why should a person do that? Bro, with all this stuff that you're writing on now, you are making enemies. And you are making enemies and some strong enemies, people who would like, they, they don't want to see you. I mean, they don't want to see your assistance or like, they don't even want to feel it. So don't you feel say, be with me, uh, like would you be a ball just to end your life in any way? <laughs> yeah. What I also know about life is, mm -hmm. whether you make enemies or not, you still have enemies. Uh -huh. Whether you make them or you don't make them, you still have enemies. And whatever that you do, you still have people who do not believe in what you do, you understand? So. For me, I believe in the bigger picture. In the bigger picture, to get certain people will not be bothered about what I write or what oh, the really? opinion I share. They will not really be bothered the way they. My father always say that if you say the truth, and your hand will be put in fire, let them put it in fire. But say the truth. If you say the truth for your hand to be cut off, keep on saying the truth. Let your hand be cut off. If you say the truth and you'll be killed. Keep on saying the truth and be killed. Apparently, everybody is going to die. So you need not to fear if you will die or you will be harmed or whatever. We are in a society where we refuse to accept the hard truth. Because this isn't our thing and it wasn't our thing also. We are in a society where when issues come up, they will say, oh, let's go and solve this issue at home. Let's not take it to the court. Let's not take it to the police station. Let's go home and solve it. We are in a society where when an elderly person is misbehaving, you do not have the right to tell the elderly person that they are misbehaving. All they say is if an elderly person and younger person have issues, always the younger person is wrong. This is the kind of society that or community that we are in. Now, why should he even make enemies for himself when he is speaking the hard truth? A whole lot of people in the society or in the Ghanaian community are always using criminal ways. 
bad ways to make some good things for themselves. And they feel that people shouldn't say it because that is how everybody is. Look at that perception. They feel that everybody is a bad person in one way or the other. So you cannot speak about what someone is doing bad. Now, criticism is for everybody. Nobody is above criticism. So, you must be ready for criticism. Yes, if someone criticizes you, come out and dispute that. If you dispute that and they agree with you or accept it, that's fine. Me, as I sit here, if you criticize me, I'll defend myself. I'll give points to defend myself. If you believe it, that's fine. If you don't believe it, that's fine. I'm not going to hurt anybody or going to insult anybody. Criticism is not a bad thing. We must accept it in our community. If you don't bring your issues outside, people will not talk about it. If you don't do things that catches the eye of people, nobody will talk about you. Be in your room and do whatever you want to do if you don't want people to talk about you. This is the community and society that we are in. Why would you go hurt someone because the person says something about you? Yes, whether the person says the thing in a hard way, whether the person is insensitive, sit down and ask yourself what this person is saying. Is it the right thing he's saying? Is he telling the truth? If he is not telling the truth, let me come out and tell people the truth. Is this not simple? If you kill bongo ideas, thousands of bongo ideas will emerge. If you touch up bongo ideas, people wouldn't be scared of that. They will still tell the truth the hardest way. Things are changing now in the society. Things are changing now in the Ghanaian communities. People are telling the truth no matter what. People look up to bongo ideas and they are learning from him. Some of us, we will keep on saying the truth the hardest way. Harmless, killers, we do not fear. When you get mentally matured, you don't care about what people will do to you. You don't care about what people will say about you. Get mentally mature. Grow. It's growth. If you understand what you are doing, you don't care about the hate people bring on board, the emotion people bring on board, the sensitivity people bring on board. Why should you hate someone just because the person is saying the, the hard truth? Anytime Bongo Ideas post, you guys should sit down, keep quiet, read the thing well, or listen to what he says. Well, if you don't understand, ask the next person and you understand. Some people are intelligent and mentally matured, but they have decided not to agree with him because they know one day he will pick them up and say the hard truth about them. You see, others are also mentally so down, immature that whatever Bongo idea says, they don't even read. All they say is, you know, he's speaking nonsense. He hasn't said anything right before. Like I said, 90% of the things that he says are always right, even though it's the hardest way he says it without thinking about people's feelings. Take your time. Listen to what he does. Listen to what he says. And then reflect on that. Sit down. Yes, he's hitting on people's feelings, but is he saying the truth? This is the way forward. If you kill bongo ideas, thousands of bongo ideas will emerge. If you hurt bongo ideas, he wouldn't stop speaking. Some of us, if you hurt us, we wouldn't stop speaking. We will keep on saying the truth until you guys accept this kind of criticism in the society. It is the way forward. At a point in time, you, you get to realize that we are all living dead. So, you don't even get scared of anything. No. You just get pushed by some spirit. You get pushed by some forces to say the truth. Because you feel that you are mentally strong right now. You have some growth in what you do. You understand what you are doing and where you are heading to. It's a shame that people were rejoicing that, yes, he has been picked up. They should beat him. They should arrest him. He cyber bullies people. Where is the cyber bully? Go back and check the definition of cyber bully. Do you think that if he is cyber bullying people, the police wouldn't have picked him a long time ago? They would have checked him a long time ago. They would have arrested him a long time ago. 
people would have taken him to court a long time ago. He only uses critical analysis and put it out there. Just understand that and move forward. Don't use hate on him. Understand what he does. What he is doing, it happens everywhere in the world. Even in the West, they do that. They do that. Let's begin to understand what he does and accept it. Like I said, he goes, sometimes he goes below the belt. That doesn't mean that what he is doing is a bad thing or a wrong thing. If you kill Bongo ideas, thousands of Bongo ideas will emerge. If you torture him, he wouldn't stop. We will keep on saying the truth the hardest way. If you don't want people to say the truth about you, do the right thing. Anyways, if you've watched till now, you can also leave your opinion about what is going on. You know, leave a comment. Let's all learn over here. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you become part of the Strive family and the Crooked Truth Court. Share the video for others to come watch and also leave a comment. Don't forget on here, we always strive for glory. We strive for success. We strive for travels. We strive for the truth and anything important. Your boy Melody, I will see you in the next court session. May all the courts rise. Nobody said we love you. You first step up your hustle. Cause one day you gonna make it. If you don't make money, friends go dog you. Nobody said we love you. You first step up your hustle. Cause one day, cause one day. No you gotta love me now.